The Nintendo Wii became our family's favorite console. The games we played are enjoyable and super entertaining. I did a video previously about to buy or not to buy a Wii console. If you haven't watched it, I'll be leaving in the link on the top right hand corner. Hello, my name is Fredo, and in this video, I'll take you through the process of soft modding your Wii. To begin, here are the things you need. Thumb drive, Wii, SD card, and an internet. This process will be done online so it's super important to have a good connection. Before we start, there will be two languages in the video, English and Tagalog. You can check the timestamps below if you want to skip. Also, this video is only made for educational purpose only. So let's get this video going. Okay, so you have to turn on your Wii and hover to the Wii options and select Wii settings. Go to the second page by using the pointer to the right arrow on the screen and select the internet options. Choose which one you want to connect and input your credentials to connect your Wii. Now that you're connected, you have to go over and change the settings. To do this, you have to go to the page 3 option by pointing to the right arrow by pressing A. Once you've reached the auto-obtain DNS, here you have to set your primary and secondary DNS. Um, here are the numbers. Click on confirm and save by pressing A on the Wiimote and wait for a pop-up menu with a successful prompt. This will let you know when you successfully installed the exploit. Once that's done, navigate to the internet menu and click the user agreements. And click yes. Next, it will connect to the internet and it will start the exploit. To start, just click and accept and wait for the pop-up message to appear on the screen. Just press 1 after it's done. This will go to the Hack Me installer. As you can see, mine is only able to install iOS using the boot tube. Click continue in the main menu. Use your d-pad to go up and point it to the install the homebrew channel. Just click yes, continue to proceed. Once done, press 1 or 2 to go back to the main menu. Select and prepare SD card to perform some installation of folders inside and click continue. It won't take long to do this and just click 1 to continue. Next is to install bootme as an iOS and continue. Finally, the SD card is ready. Just click continue for the final step. And exit to continue to the homebrew. Don't wait for the menu to pop out. Just click 1 and launch bootme. This option will back up your original NAND copy to SD for recovery in case. In this setup, you can use your Wii mode to select. Use the buttons on your Wii unit and to hover each icon, you have to press power button and go and highlight the SD settings. Select the first icon with a green arrow to start your backup. To do this, just press the eject button. This will take time and just have a break. After you've done that, do the same and just go back to main menu and exit. It will restart and you'll be back to the Wii menu. If you see any homebrew channel on the icons, that means the app is successfully installed. Just to be sure you have your own SD card and USB hard drive. Also, please take note it only supports USB 2.0. To start, you have to download D2X and USB Loader GX2. These two apps help you to customize your Wii and let you install third-party software like Wii Flow and load games from your USB. The links are all in the description box below for download. After you download everything and extract it using CZip, WinRAR, slot your SD card and format to FAT32. You can use GUI on PC and if you're using Mac, you can natively format to FAT32. Once everything is done, you can create a folder named Apps and copy all the folders from the extractive folder, which is the D2X and USB loader. Go to your Wii and insert the SD card and load the homebrew channel. The apps will pop and continue to install by starting with the D2X installer. The first menu will show the log files. 
so just press A to continue. I know it's a little bit overwhelming but here's what you need to do. Go to CIOS and select the latest version for now. We're going to select beta 53 which is the latest version on my Wii. Use the plus sign button to scroll down and select CIOS and set to 56. Hover to slot and set to 249. Go to revision and set to 65535. Press A to continue and press A again to install. Once everything is successful, press A and let's go to the second install. Now we have to change the base from 56 to 57. Next, the slot will be 249 to 250. And just keep the revision to original. This will be the same process. After you're done with the second install, you need to do the final install, which you have to change the base settings. So the base settings before was 57, now we have to turn it to 58. The slot was 250 before, now you have to increase by one level, so it's 251. And keep all the same settings. Now that we've done the tree installation, we have to go back and press B button. And let's go back to the homebrew menu. Last step is to install your USB loader. Click and press load. It will start to initialize and read whatever drive you inserted. If you already save your games to the drive, it will automatically load the games. And now you're done soft modding your Wii. So na turn on mo yung Wii. Punta sa Wii options. Punta sa Wii settings. I point mo lang yung cursor's arrows. Punta sa page two. Select mo yung internet. Connection settings, set my internet connection mo, enter my credentials, tapos may lalabas na pop-up message na successful siya. Click mo lang no kung ayaw may update. After, punta ka sa change settings, set natin yung auto-update na DNS, punta ka sa, sa page 3, click mo lang yung right arrow, highlight mo yung no, then punta ka sa advanced settings. Dito, kailangan mo lang i-copy yung primary DNS at secondary DNS. After mo copy, pwede mo na siya i-confirm. Ayan, may lalabas na pop-up message kung successful. I-click mo lang yung no. After nyan, balik tayo yung sa simula. So, baka lang. Then, click natin yung user agreement. After mag-click mo yung user agreement, next mo lang. Then, mag-connect siya sa internet. After mag-connect sa internet, meron lalabas na pop-up message. Ito yung mag start na exploit I-accept mo lang siya. After maging successful yung exploit, ito yung lalabas. Press mo lang yung 1. Dadiretso ito sa Hack Me Installer. So dito, i-click lang natin yung continue. Pag punta natin doon, click mo yung install the homebrew channel. Then click mo lang ang yes. So makita nyo mag install siya. Click mo lang yung continue after success. After noon, prepare na natin yung SD card. Click my SD card, click mo lang din yung yes para continue. So yan, nag-prepare na yung SD card. So ngayon, kailangan natin na-install yung boot sa iOS. So click mo lang continue, yes. After and after my install, click mo lang din ulit yung continue. Ayan, nag-install na siya sa iOS. After maging successful, try mo lang mag-go back at punta sa exit. So dito naman, hindi mo na kailangan hintayin yung pop-up. I-press mo lang yung 1, pupunta tayo dito sa boot me, select mo yung boot me doon. Pag nandito ka na sa boot me, um, hindi mo magagamit yung Wiimote. So ang kailangan mo gamitin is yung mga buttons doon sa Wii. So press mo yung power para makapunta tayo sa right side. Punta ka doon sa may gear icon. Para ma-select mo yun, press mo yung eject. Yung unang icon, kailangan mo i-press. Press mo ulit yung eject para pumasok ka doon sa unang icon. Diyan, papasok tayo sa boot me backup. Ito yung purpose na para mag-backup yung original na niya. Ayan, so hintayin mo lang hanggang sa maging completely green siya. After nyan, balik tayo ulit at mag-exit tayo sa boot me. Pag-exit natin, may lalabas na warning sign. So yung papa message niya, press nyo lang yung A. Tapos lalabas na yung homebrew channel doon sa loob ng Wii menu. Okay, successful ang homebrew channel. Ngayon, kailangan natin i-download yung D2X at saka USB loader GX. Yung dalawang apps na yan, gagamitin natin yan para sa USB mo. Ayan, so after ma-download, make sure na ma-extract mo siya gamit sa WinRAR or ZZip. So after ma-extract, gawa ka ng folder na pangalan apps. 
i-copy mo yung mga folder sa loob nun, tapos i-transfer mo siya sa app folder. Ayan, so gagawa tayo ng app folder, i-copy natin isa-isa yung mga files sa loob ng files na yun. So, yan. Make sure na sa loob siya na USB. Yan, so alphabet na natin siya sa Wii. Pagka-load mo sa homebrew channel, lalabas na yung mga app. So, ang una natin gagawin is yung sa D2X. Ito, medyo may kahirap yung install pero try ko explain in layman's term. Dito, kailangan lang natin set yung mga CUIOS sa latest version. Yan. So, yung sa akin is yung beta 53. Yan yung pinaka latest version. So, kailangan natin set yung base to 56. Ngayon, ang iOS slot to 49 naman. Ang CUIOS revision naman is 655G5. Yan, yan yung unang install na nagagawin natin. So, after natin gawin yung install, gagawin naman natin sa second install. Sa so, second install, kailangan lang natin gawin yung base of, from 56 to 57. Ang slot, gagawin natin 2492 to 50. Ang revision, same pa rin. Yan, so magig ganun pa rin yung process. Continue, continue mo lang. Yan, so ang, after maging successful ang second install, gawin naman natin, yung sa third install, gawin natin yung base of T8 as yung slot to 251. Lahat same lang. So, same process. Continue lang. Yan. So, mag install yung pinaka-last step natin sa D2X. Magiging successful siya pag wala kang makita ng red marks or fail. So, exit lang tayo dun. Ngayon, sa next step naman natin is to install the USB loader. Click mo lang yung load. Ayan, mag-load siya. After niya ma-install, kung meron kang game sa loob ng USB, yan. Lalabas automatically. So ayan, tapos na tayo. So, na soft mode na natin yung Wii mo. Ngayon, kailangan mo na lang gawin is matutunan kung paano mag-install ng game. All the old games directly from USB. I hope you find this video helpful. In my next video, I'll be doing a guide on how to save games on your hard drive. That's all I have for now. Have a good game everyone. And peace.